Hello everyone, this is Shruti Saburi and welcome back to my channel. So there is this hot news streaming that OTT platforms in India will now come under government regulation. So what do you think? Should they be regulated? Or what happens if they are regulated? We will discuss all those things in detail in this video. But before that, if you are watching my video for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. OTT platforms, over-the-top platforms like we have Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hotstar, Geo Cinema, Alt Balaji, View, Woot, Ditto, Sony, Big Flix, Aha, and yeah, many more. So what actually are these OTTs? As we just discussed, OTT platforms are the over-the-top platforms are basically like video and audio hosting and also streaming services. So initially, they started out as content hosting platforms where, you know, uh, where we would have all seen things like web series getting so much hype in the recent times or the movies that could not be released into the theater so they are into OTTs but right now these OTTs are into production house like we all would have seen something uh, before a web series or a movie like Netflix originals or Prime originals so they are gradually turned out to be in production and also releasing things like feature films, documentaries, short films and web series themselves so if you are watching the revenue of OTTs exclusively in India, of course India being the top market for all the OTTs, so and as of in March 9, 2019, it was just rupees 500 crores, but it is estimated to be chosen for rupees 4000 crores by the end of 2025. And also 17 crore OTT platform users are exclusively from India. So now the question is, how are OTT platforms regulated and who will regulate this? For everything we watch or enjoy, very importantly, there are some regulatory bodies. For example, if you take uh, the print media like magazines, etc., there is a regulatory body called PCI, Press Council of India. Similarly, TV news channels comes under NBA, News Broadcasting Association of India. And then for advertisements, ASCI, Advertising Standard Council of India. And then for films, it is CBFC, Center Board for Film Certification or popularly known as Censor Board. So everything like such are regulated and they have their own regulatory body. But OTT platforms do not have a regulatory body till now. So IAMAI, Internet and Mobile Association of India has come up with a self-regulatory model to make to regulate the OTT platforms in India. So if you are watching this news from Hindustan Times, it clearly says OTT platforms in India are signing a self-regulatory code. So now what is the self-regulatory code? The word self-regulation clearly says that with the framework of age classification or content description or the parental controls, we have made it very clear to the consumer to make right decisions for any view to their family or themselves which means it will be clearly mentioned if the content is of 18 plus or that promotes violence or nudity or with parental controls so i personally think this is the best development happening in the case of ott platforms having a regulatory body so if we see this way in the middle of october it all have where it all have started when the Supreme Court have stated that digital content in the OTT is released just like that without any filter or screening. From then till now having an autonomous body on the OTT platform to regulate it like Amazon Prime or Netflix or whatsoever. So now if we figure out short and crisp, it is nothing but government has brought online medium including films and news content that has to be aired or streamed under the Ministry of INB which is Information and Broadcasting. The INB ministry will also regulate all the current affair content and also audiovisual content to be streamed out according to the amendment that was signed by our President Ramnath Kovind on Monday. So, which means that the digital content such as content production such as Amazon Prime, Netflix, Hotstar or whatsoever will now be regulated under Union Ministry headed by Prakash Javedekar. So, now we will talk about
ओटीटी रिज कोई सिरी की चाल दारणम सेंसीटिव एकनामिकल अं पोल इश्यूस तो पटू वैल न्यूडिटी प्रमोटे विधा उ सो थिटर्स इवे जरगक सेंसार बोर्ड आपे आपेबी दाने तस्कोचे ओटीटी रिज़्ड वाल ओनली बिकाज दिश नाट हाव ए रेग्युलेटरी बाॉडी केवल रेग्युलेटरी बाॉडी लेन वाल रिज़्ड वाल रईट टू फ्रीडम आफ् स्पीच अने बेस मीद एवरो आगे ले सो यू हाव रईट टू स्पीच अफकोर्स यू हाव रईट टू स्पीच अं शो के युर क्रियेटी बट हाउ फार इट ईज मैनिपुलेटिंग द पीपल अंड एंतरकू अभी मं जो इज वाट दट मैटर्स so my friends that's my overview on ott regulation hope you all have understood and loved the content for more such amazing content please do subscribe to my channel like cheyandi share cheyandi comment cheyandi and please don't forget to subscribe nenu mishruti saburi signing off bye bye see you all in my next video